In this experiment, seven and eight-year-olds are sharing a stash of ten chocolate coins. One child decides on how they are split and they can offer as many or as few coins as they like. Can you give her two? You get three. Then you get one. You get three. At first, they keep more for themselves, but there's a catch. It's the other child who gets to decide if the split's fair. If not, they can refuse the offer. And then, both children have to go away empty-handed. Will they get away with it? No. I said no. 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 When you mean? That means you don't get any chocolate. I don't care. It's already too little. Almost all of the children reject a smaller share, preferring to have nothing at all. It may seem strange, but it's not. By going without themselves, they're punishing their partner who loses even more chocolate. And they're not going to forget that in a hurry. Look what happens when the experiment is repeated. She gets five back. Okay. You get four. Okay, I gotta give you five coins for you and five for me. And we give you four. Now, with a fairer split, what will the response be? Yes. I say yes this time. No! Mm, yeah. Yes. The children are happy to accept. It's not difficult to see why we've evolved this way. If we react instinctively against people who cheat, they'll think twice before trying it again. And it's left us all with a taste for fairness.